Welcome to this tutorial section of ProRestruct. I'm going to teach you how to design an overhead concrete tank stand using a single column. So this is my orthogonal axis generator. So we're going to come. This is my workspace that looks like a graph sheet. So I'm going to click some place appropriate. So I'm going to make my particular axis to be one meter. Two. I want two of them. So I want this one also to be one meter. I want two of them also. So I'm going to click on OK. It's been generated. So I'm going to zoom in properly for you to see. So from here to here, it's one meter. From here to here, it's one, one. From here to here, it's one meter. And this is the middle. So I'm going to put my tank stand at this middle. I'm going to go to column. I select my column. This is my column. I'm going to click on that to get my column type. So I'm going to use a cross column. Now this comes off so this is my cross column so my h2 i want it to be 300 thick i want it to be 300 thick and also my b2 i want it to be 300 thick it to be 300 thick so we can just go ahead and play with all other sections but i want this to this now it's been labeled at this preview so you can work on that using this particular labeling that is on the previews to work on other sections but now i'm fine so i'm going to say okay i'm going to come to this middle here i'm going to click on it column is created and then i'm going to turn this off if i want to but i'm going to create four beams so my beams this is my beam property so i want it to be two to five wide and i want it to be 300 deep and to be 300 deep so i'm going to create a beam here to this point it's been created i'm going to hit escape to continue another so i'm going to make it also just like a cross column so i'm going to say okay now i want to create some other smaller columns which is going to be 150 by 150 because my slab i'm going to be putting is going to be 150 so i'm going to create them at this point here so i'm going to make it here i'm going to make a smaller columns here it's saying do you want to split the new beam at the support so i'm going to say no now this is the support here so i'm going to split i'm going to hit escape i'm going to come also to this other part too i'm going to make the same say no now the excess of this is to support the slab either side so you can put for the side but i don't want to put for all of that because the beams are going to be inside so i can create for the side also i can say okay let me create for the side i don't want to split it so i'm going to say no i'm going to either escape continue at this point i'm going to say okay i'm going to say no now these smaller beams are going to be hidden inside the slab it's not going to be seen only this all of this is not going to be seen only this ones are going to be become a drop down beam so i'm going to go to my slab i'm going to make it 115 so i'm going to make the loading that 25 is okay concrete cover so this 3.6 which is the self weight so i'm going to click on that so i'm going to use foundries 20 kilo newtons because it is a water reservoir coming on top so i'm going to insert them and insert all my slabs so my slabs are already in place i'm going to turn this off and so when i turn this off i'm going to insert strips now so i'm going to start reverse by clicking on this i'm going to use analytical strips so this is my extraction so i'm going to hold down my control key to make sure it's straight and your mark you're going to hold your command key i'm going to click is created so i'm going to make for this one also using the x direction is created i'm going to turn it to that of the y so i'm going to make for the y also hold down my control key and my windows and the mark you're going to hold your command so i'm going to click it's been created so i'm going to make for this one also it's been created i'm going to turn this off or for this my columns i'm going to check all of this leaving 16 i'm going to check all others make sure all others are unchecked i'm going to say okay then i'm going to come down to my slab i'm going to use 
diameter 12 so I'm going to use 12 and use 12 and check all of this I'm going to say OK so I'm going to say for my links I'm going to use 10 and check all of this make sure they are all unchecked I'm going to click on OK then the slabs the beams I'm going to use 16 also make sure it's properly done so I'm going to use 16 let's try and use some intelligence here so I'm going to use 16 I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to say OK I'm fine with this now on this this is a core this is a foundation so this is my foundation I did the soil test so it's 118 so it's on uh, a good soil so I'm going to use it's on a dense sand so this is it so I'm using that so you can do some other changes your title header and you're going to say OK so I'm going to say on this I'm going to run the analysis if you want to you going to click on this and when it hit start it's going to run the analysis for you so when you do that so it's going to run the analysis for you so I'm going to skip this and I'm going to go to the foundation design so because I, I've done this tutorial before so I'm going to go to the foundation design so I'm going to turn this off and so if you go to the foundation design go to your story zero zero so I've run the analysis so I'm going to go to my foundation design so I'm going to go is my story zero zero so I'm going to click then I'm going to right click on it say insert pad base then this pops up so I'm using a 400 thick column but I'm going to use 500 thick then I'm going to use 750 then this is my parameters for soil so you do go ahead with your soil testing before you can use all of this so I'm going to say calculate it calculate it I'm going to say okay I like 1.1 make it a square I'm going to say okay now if you're not satisfied you can decide to increase it or you can double click and type the value you want and also do that for this particular other side also so these are the values that have been calculated on each of the edges that we have so this is okay ensure all of this is okay before you proceed i'm going to say okay i like it it's it's fine by me i'm going to say okay now the base is being created so i'm going to turn it to 3d so we can see what we have done so far so this is a concrete stand that we have designed our reservoir is going to be on this top here then this is our foundation that we have so we have successfully designed a concrete stand so i can zoom in and rotate it so you can see so this is our concrete stand this is how to design a concrete stand using a single cross column so do subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our tutorials and let's see in our next tutorial